there's no one who's like really not a reader. Like they just clearly haven't found the right book yet. I am very confident in saying that there is a book for everyone. I am very glad that it's part of my job and it's something that I take pride in doing is like helping you find that book. Hi, I'm Tyler and welcome to Office Hours. This is what I do at HarperCollins. I am a digital marketer at HarperCollins Children's Books. Epic Reads is a digital brand within HarperCollins Children's Books. We're all about the YA community. As part of the digital marketing team, a lot of what I'm doing is putting out content on Epic Reads, the website, and social channels, and then also kind of coming up with fun ideas for how to market all the amazing books that we get. If I had to describe my job to someone who didn't know anything about publishing, I would say that I create really weird listicles and quizzes for books that are really great and hit important topics, but also help you find out who your god would be if you were in an elemental gladiator match. <laughs> so it's the best of both worlds. I feel like a lot of things that I did for fun growing up indirectly or directly influence my job at Harper right now. When I was middle school, I was like coding layouts on Zanga and like making graphics and icons. And now like I'm very, I'm self-taught in like Photoshop and HTML. And now I do that for like our graphics and our newsletters. I write for fun and I feel like that helps my voice because it's very like, it's a very distinctive like snarky voice that for some reason works on a published website. I think one of the most important responsibilities that I have as kind of a member of Team Epic Reads and being in the digital space and seeing all these books is being able to know and help get the right books into the reader's hands. I think whether that's creating an article that's like, wow, you have to read these books and making sure we're hitting all the keywords just in case, you know, they happen to be searching for something or a Twitter thread with like, oh, hey, you might not know these books have this representation, but they do thread and just kind of listing them below. Maybe it's an Instagram photo. Maybe it's a weird Instagram meme. There are all these different channels where thanks to social media and kind of the digital space, out of all these different places, you know, we can only hope that one of them will kind of hit the target and find that reader and hopefully change their lives for the better. A day in my life, I feel like no two days are ever the same. Some days I'm writing a lot, editing and looking through articles and kind of planning things out for the website. Told myself I was going to read today and... Instead, I wrote a quiz to see which Greek god would be your parent. And I have no regrets. Other days, I'm in Instagram and Twitter very closely. Other days, I'm going through the Facebook group and seeing like what people are saying, what they want to do. Other days, I'm kind of gauging reactions to books that have already come out. Other days, I am seeing how we can position books that aren't coming out for another year and a half. There's not as much reading in my actual day-to-day -day because I do that outside of work time because thankfully it is still fun. <laughs> I think it's coming up with all these different ways. It's working really closely with the team and throwing ideas around and being like, oh, can we do this? Oh, but then we can turn it into this and playing a lot of that. It's trying to figure out how I can convince people who don't think that they're really readers that like, no, like you don't have to like be a reader to love this book or to read this book. I think what excites me the most about what I do at Harper is that there's limitless possibilities. We really, like, we can have an idea and be like, listen, this might sound crazy, but we think it's gonna work. Everyone at Harper is so great, they'll be like, okay, like, come up with a plan, let's see what you think. I can kind of be <laughs> unhinged and have fun. I can be like, oh, did you like this TV show that only ran for one season and hasn't aired a new episode in five years? I think you'll like these books. And everyone will be like, oh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. That's a good, you made a good point. I mean, one of the best things about getting to work at Epic Reads is that we really get to listen and talk to the community. We really try to listen to what they're saying and what they want to see and what they like and what they don't like. We kind of get to represent the readers in a way that a lot of other positions in and outside of publishing, like they don't have that kind of face to face with the people they're actually selling books to. I think what inspired me to seek out publishing as a career is that I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew what I liked. I liked reading, I liked writing, I liked being creative. There was one marketing class I took in college where I got to make like a whole campaign deck um, and I chose to do it around like DC Comics and how I would market their female heroes. When I heard about the publishing course, I was like, oh, I could do things with books professionally. That's cool. And at the course, I found out about marketing and publicity and all these different facets that I didn't know existed before that. Oh, I can take all that marketing and creative stuff that I really like and apply it 
to the book stuff that I really liked, that was kind of when I realized like, oh, this is like the sweet spot. Like this is the overlap in the Venn diagram that I didn't know existed. I think I've also gotten really good at like recommending books to people. Like you could tell me any three random things about yourself and it could be like, you know, your favorite TV show or your favorite color. And I'd be like, you know what? I think you would really like this book. And I pride myself on the fact that I do think you would really like that book. I'm probably right. I think working in books right now is just, it's a really great space to be because books were already kind of at the forefront of getting more diverse voices out there. So I think as we continue to do that and we continue to hear from more and more non-white, non-straight voices, um, publishing is really at the top of that game and we're trying to get as many voices out there as possible and also you know, kind of selfishly, I think it's great that more books are being adapted because A, I love to watch them, even if the books are 98% of the time better. Um, and also it's exposing it to an audience that would never have picked up the book because like they either didn't know about it or thought they wouldn't like it. There are so many great things that have come out of this and so many, I think, more books that should be published are being published. There's always something else you could be doing and whether that's helping out people around you or, you know, just talking to someone or even just like having fun and like writing or reading for fun or like relaxing and watching TV. Like there's always something you can do to better everyone around you and also to not abandon your creativity. I feel like those are my two, those are my two things, my driving principles. I think the thing that drives me in my career is being able to see I think even in the last four years how much publishing has grown uh, and there's still a long way to go but I mean there's so many books now coming out by so many different types of authors and authors who identify in so many different ways and being able to be a part of that from the inside and doing everything I can to make sure that those books get into the hands of readers that need them. I think that's a really great thing to be able to focus on and say that that's what I do every day. Thanks for watching. Check out some of our other Office Hours videos. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already.